What's going on everyone? Slovash here, bringing you another Diablo 3 gameplay. Um, in this video, I'm going to explain my Witch Doctor build that you saw in my previous video called Paragon Level Farming. Um, basically, it was a build focused on killing multiple guys in one hit, as well as linking kills together to create massacre bonuses. Um, this build is viable in Inferno. That's currently what I'm in right now. And I'm going to explain the build, the skills I use, and why. And then hopefully I can show you a few little uh, highlights of how it works. So let's get right into it. Um, starting with skills, uh, the main damage dealer is uh, Zombie Bears. That's no surprise for most Witch Doctors. Um, that's a standard staple for dishing out lots of damage to anyone in the close vicinity of you. Um, and with that being said, the close vicinity of you to people who are dying, aka your enemies, um, that is what this whole build is, you know, fueled by. Um, these two passives right here, uh, mainly this one. Grave Injustice has always been an amazing um, passive. It just hasn't really ever seemed viable until the Witch Doctor had some meat shields that could tank for him as well as some better damage dealing moves that deal with being up close and personal with the enemies. And since the patch, Spirit Walk and Soul Harvest have got a nice buff. Now this is more viable. Grave Injustice, basically anyone within 8 yards plus whatever bonus radius that you have from your gear, anytime they die, you're going to gain 2% life and mana, which is going to help you stay alive and fueled to cast more spells. The bonus, which is huge, is the reduced cooldown on all of your spells. So you have a lot of spells that uh, have 8 second cooldowns, 15 second, 15 second, 15 second. So if you kill 15 guys at one time, you have no cooldown. Um, and that happens a lot, or 10 guys at one time, or 8 guys at one time. And they're all within that radius, so that all counts. So you're getting a ton of mana back, ton of health back, and uh, you're reducing your cooldowns big time. Now, Circle of Life was also one of the moves or passives that got buffed gigantically. It used to be 5% chance to cast zombie dogs when someone died within the radius. Now it's 30, so that's significantly increased. Therefore, it's very worthwhile. Um, by having this passive in this build, I almost always have three zombie dogs up for meat shields, for utility, whatever I need. Um, and that's purely because of this passive and being up close to guys when they die. And with increased radius gear or um, I think the someone told me that the new thing of the deep mojo that you can put on your, on your offhand that gives you 20% or 20 more yard radius to uh, you know your golden uh, health pot pickup so you can imagine how devastating circle of life as well as grave injustice just with that one item could become um, synergy wise so basically trying to exploit these passives as best I can. Pierce the Veal is here just to increase my damage only and it's not a very mana intensive build especially when you're killing multiple guys at one time you're never really struggling for mana. Um, so Zombie Bears is your main damage dump if a guy's in your face and you want him gone use Zombie Bears. I use Grasp of the Dead with the Raining Corpses rune because that um, has received a buff as well. It's a great AoE, slows people down so you can kite if you're in trouble, as well as the, the corpse that falls from the sky, that will actually follow you um, between your battles. So if you were to cast Grasp of the Dead on a group of guys, they all die and you're running a screen length or two away to a new group of guys, that falling corpse, uh, part of the ability will follow with you. So you're actually getting the bonus 80% damage which splashes and comes and can't really be blocked. It also goes through walls, which is nice. So if you're running through like the uh, the jail cells, it will go through the walls and hit those people inside the jail cells, which you can't target sometimes with some moves. So it's a good way of carrying over some damage in between your fights, um, as well as a great AoE and uh, snare. Um, Severance on Spirit Walk, this got a buff. This now becomes a great uh, way to elude guys as well as damage them. Sometimes you'll see me just run into a pack of guys and spin in a circle. It's a great way of dealing damage. It it, uh, it gnaws away at their health before you pop your other damage dealing moves like Soul Harvest. Um, Soul Harvest, Vengeful Spirit, that is going to be the bread and butter. Um, 
damage dealing move in this build. It's going to increase your um, your intelligence stacks, which gives you more damage and more resistance, um, as well as keeping guys within a very close radius of you and killing them, which will help spark these two passives. So, uh, Vengeful Spirit got a buff. It's now a great move for killing. I suggest you try it, even if it's not part of your normal build. Um, Hex, Angry Chicken. This is just a splash damage move. Um, this was used to just kill packs of guys at one time, so I can get that... Uh, massive blow bonus for killing multiple guys with one move um, it's also really fun and um, it's not commonly used this this slot can really be anything you want uh, I just chose this because it sounded fun and it actually isn't too bad so I just kept it in um, now because I'm gonna be spawning so many zombie dogs I wanna be able to sacrifice them for bonus damage as well as uh, crowd control and um, I use the next of kin rune. I've seen other people use the one with mana um, regen off of blowing the dogs up. But with next of kin, it's, uh, it's a more consistent meat shield. You don't have to work as hard to get them coming back. And um, for elongated fights, especially against a boss or someone where you're not killing guys very easily, it's really good for those extended hard battles because um, you'll blow them up and then they have a good chance of spawning a new one and then that will chain into another explosion sacrifice which can chain into another one and another one basically it's however many times you roll the dice and, and land another zombie dog you can blow them up and they do quite a bit of damage 275 percent of your weapon damage to all guys within 12 yards so if you have all three dogs on your boss you blow them up they all spawn again you blow them up you get two back or one back or none back it's it's a great way of uh, basically extending out some damage and it doesn't cost a, a single mana and it has no cooldown at all. It's a great move to carry around for extra damage. Your zombie dogs are really fast and they fan out on the screen. So if there's a guy across the screen that you don't really feel like backtracking to kill, you'll see me blow up my zombie dogs just to get him out of my way so I can move on. Um, that's the build, guys. Uh, I hope that explained a lot of things. And um, as far as my, my gear goes, I am wearing gear. I just chose to put the vanishing die and everything <laughs> just because it's... Uh, Kind of funny to me to see a naked witch doctor running around killing things. Um, but all my gear is basically your standard tank doctor build gear. Uh, intelligence, vitality, all resist. Uh, I still haven't switched over my weapon. Um, a good thing to have, and this is what someone else recommended in one of their videos, was to have life on kill bonus on your weapon. Um, that life after a kill bonus can get really significantly high like thousands of life back so you can imagine if you're popping multiple dudes on the screen um, you're gonna be getting a lot of life back and that actually be better than a potion or life on hit so um, it's very viable but uh, that's my gear guys if you wanna see it in depth then I can show you or send you a link or something like that to the profile page but uh, I'm going to sign off here now, and uh, the rest of the video will probably just be some clips of me slaughtering some guys with this build. I hope you guys enjoy. hope this brought you some information, and feel free to subscribe and like the video if you're still watching. Thanks. Bye.